Working with fractions can be taxing. There are so many different rules to consider when coming up with equivalents. If you don't have your facts, it can be challenging. So let's think about this geometrically. What if we look at a rectangle that we have to break into a set of squares? So let's take a rectangle that is 12 tall and 21 across and find the largest square possible within that rectangle, a 12 by 12 square. We remove that and look what's left. A rectangle with uh, a length of 9 and a width of 12. The largest square possible in that rectangle is going to be a 9 by 9 square. So we'll remove that and we are left then with a smaller rectangle that is 3 by 9. When, when you're left with that, you are able to break that down into 3 by 3 squares, three of those each. Now, since that's the largest square possible, we can go all the way across and all the way uh, wide to break this larger rectangle down. And what we realize is that this original rectangle that we have is four of those three by three squares tall and seven of those three by three squares across, which means a 12 by 21 a rectangle can be broken down into four by seven squares which means that 4 sevenths is a simplified version of 12 21sts. So why is this important? Well, because about 2300 years ago, the great Greek mathematician Euclid, in his keynote book, The Elements, in number theory, devised Euclid's algorithm. It uses subtraction to identify greatest common factors. So start off with the two values, find their difference, and get rid of the largest value there, in this case, 105. Subtract again with what's left, repeat that process until you get to zero. When you do, the last value that you subtracted to get to zero is your greatest common factor. In this case, it's 21. This works for any two sets of values, even when they are relatively prime with a fraction that cannot be simplified. And so you can use this to simplify fractions by finding out how many times you take the GCF away from your numerator and your denominator. In this case, two fifths. For the Abacus Monthly, I'm Devin Rossiter. Until next time, stay calculated.